less stress, more time, more money. Welcome to the Cash Flow Contractor, short with Khalil Benaliul Hajj. What's up, Cash Flow Contractors? Khalil here to talk to you about getting started with the CRM so that you can find less stress, more time, and more money in your business. So, a lot of contractors are aware of bookkeeping. A lot of business owners are aware of bookkeeping. And bookkeeping and software for bookkeeping like QuickBooks is so important for having clear financial statements and being able to make better decisions in your business. If you want to learn more on this, we have several episodes, or you can just read Martin's book, The Profit Problem. A CRM is very essential to a business on the customer side. So if you think of bookkeeping and bookkeeping software like QuickBooks on the financial side, the CRM is going to be on the customer side. And it really keeps everything related to your customers extremely organized. Everything from their information to the marketing that you do to customers, the sales process that you have for customers, and for the service that you provide to customers. So I want to give you an example of why it matters. Whenever you want to go send that email to a vast majority of contacts, to a bunch of customers, or when you decide that you want to look at the information of who's visiting your website, or you decide that you want to go ahead and call your customers so that you can get feedback for them and send out a survey, whatever it is, how are you doing that? Are you just going through your phone book on your cell phone and seeing who's a customer and then giving them a call. That's usually what I find. They don't have a CRM, a central location where they can keep their contacts. A CRM stands for either a contact or customer relationship manager. And if you're just using your phone, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities. You're likely not automating anything. You're likely not delegating anything because it's not in a central location. It's either in your head or on your phone and that is not scalable. So how do you get started with an, a CRM? Like how do you actually just start doing something right now? I'm going to give you four steps, uh, four different points that are going to help you to actually get started right now. If you're really old school and you feel like you don't want to sign up for just another software that you don't understand, if you understand spreadsheets, Excel or Google Sheets, just start with that. Build a spreadsheet. On the columns at the top, you're just going to put the, name, the, the info that you need, right? So first name last name, phone number, email, street address, city, all those different information are going to be in the columns. And then on the rows down the left side, you're going to have the information filled in for each of your contacts. That's the most basic CRM right there is just a spreadsheet. I don't recommend this long term, but if you don't have anything, this is much, much better than not having anything. Because if you want to send that direct mail campaign, oh, it's on the spreadsheet right? Just make sure that you are using this consistently. If you want to take it a step further and you have that spreadsheet already, you're like, oh man, I, I already use a spreadsheet right now, then you can take it a step further and actually use a tool that empowers you even more than a spreadsheet. And so I recommend you find a software and a CRM software. There are several out there. There's some that are specific to contractors, some that are more universal to any business, but find a tool that you like. What I really recommend, the factors that I really recommend that you look for are the four C's. I want it to be convenient that I can access for any, from anywhere. I want it to connect, to have integrations with other pieces of software like my email, for example, or my Google Drive, or my OneDrive, uh, my calendar, all these different connections or integrations. I want it to be cu customizable so that I can, I don't have to use cookie cutter fields, but I can use my own properties in there and it's really easy to, to change. And then I want it to be the right cost, right? Something that I can afford, something that's not going to, you know, overwhelm me as I scale. Like a lot of softwares, you're going to find a pot, a cost per employee. So as I get more employees, it only costs me more, uh, or cost per contact is even worse where every time I add an extra hundred contacts, it's going to charge me more. So make sure that you're thinking about the cost as well. For me, I, I really highly, highly recommend HubSpot. 
it is a really great CRM and it's free. You don't have to pay anything and you can have a million contacts in there and they're not going to charge you for it. And it has access to all those things that I just said, as far as integrations, the access from anywhere, being able to customize it. And obviously it's free. So once you have chosen that tool, you really want to set some goals for yourself to have really good habits with using your CRM, because just like bookkeeping, if you're not looking at your books and doing the bookkeeping, at least on a monthly basis, you're really not going to have good financial statements. Same thing with the CRM. If you are not updating this thing weekly, monthly, it's not going to be accurate information and you're not going to have access to all of your contacts. So with that being said, I suggest that you set little goals for yourself. You can do that through some calendar events on your calendar, some little reminders on your phone, uh, just saying, hey, every Friday for 30 minutes, I just go through and I see if all the information is accurate, if I have all of my contacts in there, those little things. As you get better at this, it'll become something that you just do naturally. Um, from there, I also recommend that you build some systems. And it doesn't have to be anything super complicated. It can be as little as like, hey, whenever a salesperson calls somebody, they need to add that person into the CRM. Uh, whenever I get a business card, I make sure that I put it in the CRM. Little systems like that that you can write out. And then what's great is you can actually delegate that to someone who is doing data entry for you. Maybe even the same person in your, on your staff that's doing bookkeeping or the same person that's answering the phones or you know, looking through documents, all those things. So set goals and create habits for yourself to actually use your CRM. The, the last thing that I wanna say is make sure that you know the information that you actually need to use. There's some really standard ones that everyone probably needs across the board, like first name, last name, email, cell phone number, street address, city, state, zip, all those little things. But how can it be customized to your business? What's going to be helpful for you? Maybe you've got a certain amount of you know, products or services that you're selling. Okay, can we put those into a property as far as what products and services is this contact interested in? What products and services did they actually buy? You can even put things in there like timeline to buy. What is their expected timeline of purchase? You can put in there even their status if they're a customer or not a customer. Uh, you can put in there how many times you've contacted them. Lots of different information that you can put in these in a CRM to make sure that you have really clear data and then you can filter by that information. Hey, I want to see all the contacts that I have in this city or in this zip code. I want to see all the people that have bought this specific product or service. There's a lot of different information that you can you can add to your CRM and customize it to fit your business specifically. So just to recap, make sure that you are using a CRM period for your business. Just because you don't use one doesn't mean that you're, that you're doing fine. You're missing out on a lot of things, especially anything related to marketing, sales, and service. Uh, start with a spreadsheet if you can, and that's just the easiest way to do it. I do recommend using a tool eventually because it will scale better and it will have a lot more features that will help you in business. Uh, once you have found a tool, make sure that you're actually using it. It does no one any good to buy a really nice hammer, but then never use that hammer. Same thing. Yeah, you're going to find a great tool, but actually make sure you use it and remind yourself to do so. And lastly, make sure you have all the information that you actually need for a customer inside there not just for today, but for tomorrow. So appreciate you talking to me about getting started with the CRM. There'll be a link in the, in the show notes to HubSpot so you can take a look. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to talk to you specifically about your business using a CRM. So thanks for chatting today. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I hope that you're finding less stress, more time and more money in your business. Thanks for listening to The Cashflow Contractor. Check out our website in the show notes or visit thecashflowcontractor.com.